everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to show you how to build super easy wooden planter boxes. Today is outdoor DIY and decor challenge day, so I'm going to leave the playlist down in the description box below. You can add your video to the playlist if you're taking part in the challenge. Just make sure to mention the playlist in your video and that the challenge is hosted by me, the DIY Mummy. And if you're not taking part, make sure to check out all of the other videos in today's playlist. I can't wait to see all of the outdoor DIY and decor inspiration from you guys. My project today is a couple of simple wooden planter boxes. This is such a simple building project, so if you're new to woodworking, this is a great thing to start with. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button if you like DIY and decor ideas on a budget, and hit the bell if you want to be the first to be notified of all my latest DIY and decor ideas. Ready to build these DIY planter boxes? Let's get started. To begin, find a plastic planter or a metal planter in about the size you want your finished planter boxes to be. So this one I believe was just from Home Depot. It's 14 inches in diameter. Next you're going to take some one by sixes and cut them to make the side panels. So I'm making side panels that are 14 inches wide to fit my planter and then I'm also making some that are 15 and a half inches wide so that they can fit perpendicular to the 14 inch wide pieces and cover the ends of them. So I'm just using a seven and a half inch miter saw. I have to cut twice because my miter saw is so teeny tiny. If you have a larger miter saw, that would be a lot easier. Then I took some one by threes and I'm cutting these for uh, the corners of my planter box. So you can cut four of these at about the height of your uh, plastic or your metal planter you bought. So mine are 16 and a half inches long. And then I'm taking one by twos, cutting four of those at the same height. So in my case, 16 and a half inches long. So here are the cuts that you're going to have to make. So I cut 16 pieces that were 14 inches long of one by sixes. I have six pieces of one by sixes that are 15 and a half inches long. And then I have the one by threes and the one by twos. I will leave all of this down in the description box below so you can check out the cut list for yourself. Then I put three of the uh, 15 and a half inch pieces of one by sixes together like this and I took the one by three and I put it on one of the sides making sure to overlap it about three quarters of an inch on the end. This is going to um, cover my other perpendicular pieces and then I took a finishing nailer. You can use uh, just regular nails if you want as well and nailed that in place. I do love a finishing nailer to make this go a lot quicker and faster and if your finishing nails happen to be a little bit longer than your two pieces of wood, you can just take some side cutters or some tin snips and cut off the backs of the uh, nails. Next I took my 14 inch long pieces, I put three of them together of the one by sixes and then I took the one by two piece of 16 and a half inch wood and I also overlapped that about three quarters of an inch on one side, took my finishing nailer and nailed that piece in place then repeat with the second side just like this so put the one by two make sure it's hanging off of the side about three quarters of an inch and nail that in place with a finishing nailer or regular nails and a hammer you can also use wood glue to join your pieces together before you nail them that's completely up to you so here are my finished side panels. You can see the top ones are the longer ones, the bottom ones are the shorter ones. Then you're just going to nail all these pieces together overlapping the ends just like I'm doing here. So I'm making sure that the pieces with the one by twos are perpendicular to the pieces with the one by threes and then just nailing them together with a finishing nailer. Again, you can put some wood glue in the joins and then nail. This is completely up to you. So it's a really, really simple project. I'm making this planter as easy as possible and it's basically just a sleeve for you to put your other planter inside like I'm doing here. So I didn't put a bottom or anything. You could put a bottom if you wanted to actually make this into a planter that you put, you know, plastic and dirt in, but I basically just wanted it to hide the planters that I already got. So this is just a super easy, super quick project. So at this point, you can stain, you can paint, you can do whatever you want to finish your planter boxes. So while I do the like the natural wood look, I'm going to use these for a project with tons of color. Uh, here is the side cutters you could use to trim off any of the excess nails that are showing if you need to. I decided that I'm going to paint these with a white paint. So if you are painting your planter block boxes, just make sure to use an outdoor paint. I'm using just some white outdoor paint I had on hand and a regular paintbrush and painting two coats of paint on my planter boxes. 
I'm using this for a project that is actually not my home. It's another project and I'll share that with you soon. It's going to be really exciting and cute. And this project has a ton of color. So I wanted these just to be nice and bright and white so they would really pop against the colorful spot that I am putting them in. So once I finished painting these with two coats of paint, they were all done. And that's how easy it is to make these planter boxes. Again, check out the description box down below. Just click on that arrow down below the title to open that up and I'll make sure to leave the cut list for this project as well as the description on how to build them just in case you want to see the written instructions. I think these actually look so cute on our porch. I love the style on our porch, so I'm very tempted to make some for our own home as well after I use these for the other collaborations that I'm working on. Again, you could stain these if you don't like the painted look. They would look beautiful in a nice deep ebony stain or a nice natural colored stain. There's so many ways you could make these look really cute and I love how simple and easy they are to build. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know down in that comment section below what you think of these boxes and if you would try to build these. Again, make sure to check out all of the other videos in today's DIY and decor challenge playlist. I will leave that down in the description box below and somewhere up here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas. And I'll see you guys all again in the next video. Make sure to check out all of the other videos I have for you right up here.